colors. Add year-round color to your garden with these perennial flowers that bloom at different periods from spring to fall. We've listed them consecutively by bloom time to make organizing your gardening calendar straightforward. These low-maintenance plants will give you a spectacular annual display in your garden. Number one, Viola. This smaller cousin to the pansy gives hundreds of tiny, delicate flowers in April. White, blue, purple, yellow, and a plethora of other hues can all be found in a viola's bloom. They bring a burst of springtime color to planters and window boxes. Because of their sensitivity to heat, violas need to be planted in a shady area during the afternoon. The brightly colored flowers can be eaten or used as a garnish. Violas have a hardiness range of 2 to 11. Number 2. Hellebore. The hellebore is one of the earliest perennials to flower, and its flowers can last from spring until October. The big saucer-shaped blooms are exquisite in their delicacy. Flowers can be seen in white, pink, yellow, or maroon with bold patterns. Hellebores can withstand cold and deer damage, and they thrive in partial shade. Hellebores can survive in zones four to nine. Number three, Virginia bluebells. Virginia bluebells, with their bell-shaped blue blossoms, are a great way to liven up any forest garden in the spring. If you want color to remain in your garden after the blooms fade, add different perennials around these plants. The daffodils and other spring bulbs that they pair so well with. The hardiness of Virginia bluebells is between zones three to eight. Number four, Baptiza. When in bloom, this native grassland shrub is breathtaking. Baptisia plants, often known as fake indigo, are relatively large at three to four feet in height and width. The plants send up strong stems covered in pea-like flowers in blue, white, yellow, or bicolor in the spring. Baptisia may survive in dry conditions and continue to bloom for years with minimal maintenance. The Baptasia's hardiness ranges between three to eight. Number five, perennial geranium. Perennial geraniums give a splash of color to the forefront of perennial borders with their long blooming multicolored flowers that go from pink to purple to blue to white. Plus the foliage produces compact, low growing mounds, making these perennials perfect bed edging plants. Soil with good drainage and full sun or partial shade are ideal growing conditions. Hardiness zones five through nine are ideal for growing perennial geraniums. Number six, black-eyed Susans. Permanently dark-eyed brighten up your flower beds and borders with Susan, which comes in either yellow or orange blossoms. Plus, they produce long-lasting cut flowers for bouquets. These native grassland plants require little maintenance, can survive periods of drought, and even wildlife. Hardiness zones 3 to 11 are ideal for growing black-eyed Susans. Number 7. Purple Conflower Purple Conflower is a hardy, strong grassland native and a wildlife attractor. Conflowers were originally only available in pinkish purple or white, but modern hybridization efforts have resulted in a wide spectrum of bloom hues. The conflower is also remarkably resistant to pests and diseases. The zone of tolerance for purple conflowers is from three to nine. Number eight, foxglove. Despite their common perception, Foxgloves are actually biennials, meaning they only live for two years before dying in the fall. Foxgloves are annuals, although they reseed once they're established. Plants in an open environment may need to have their tall stems staked to prevent damage from the wind. Foxglove hardiness ranges between three to eight. 
Number nine, Russian sage. This huge, shrubby perennial flowering plant blooms at just the right time, in the latter stages of summer and beginnings of fall. Flowers up to a foot in length that bloom for weeks. Plant in drifts to take advantage of the vibrant color and plant closely to reduce the need for staking. The Russian sage can survive in zones four to nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.